outreach coordinator for the trust. I actually think that I know everyone here, which is great. <laughs> so thank you all for coming. Um, I'm going to introduce some important people, then we'll have a few brief words from some other important people, and then we'll walk. <laughs> um, so, so our, we have quite a few board members here today. Thank you for coming. Uh, Michael Wright over here. We have Kathy King, who's soon to be a board member. Tin Smith, Lee Peak, as well. I think that's everyone. Board members. Okay. <laughs> Staff. Patty Mitchum. Woo! Jane Adams. Woo! And Jill. Where's Jill? Okay. <laughs> Jill. Great. And then uh, th thank you to Jude and Felicia for helping with parking. And also Daryl's here. So okay. Um, and Mike Kaplan, one of the Kaplan brothers who donated the property. So this is great. So Mike Wright, do you want to speak, give a few words, talk about the property? I'm going to get my, my speech out. But I'm not good at winging things, so I'm going to sort of, sort of read this. I think. All right, I'm Mike Wright, a board member. As project manager for uh, this this project, and I want to I want to welcome everyone to Nowichawanek Woods, 60, uh, 76 acres of woodlands along the Salmon Falls River. It's a real beautiful place, but it's much more than that. It's an important wildlife habitat. The plants and leaf litter work to filter the rain and snow melt before it runs into the water. It gets all the pollutants out. Um, it, uh, the trees absorb carbon uh, from the atmosphere and hold it. And uh, it's a great place for people to come uh, to seek refuge from all of the concerns that we have these days and Lord knows there are enough of those. But it's also uh, a great gift to future generations of all species. This is one of over a hundred conservation projects that Great Works Regional Land Trust has completed in our six towns. Uh, Berwick, North Berwick, South Berwick, Elliott Wells, and Agunkra. Uh, it's one of 19 projects that we have completed in Berwick. Some of the projects that Great Works undertakes involves fundraising and daunting applications for uh, available grants. And uh, some of the best ones are when owners come to us and ask if we would donate, if they could donate some land to us. So when Mike Kaplan contacted Great Works Regional Land Trust and said that he and his brother Steve would like to discuss a possible donation of land in Berwick, um, we we're happy to meet. Now, I had grown up in Berwick and I was well aware of the Kaplan family, owners of Prime Tanning. They had a long history of supporting the community. In 1948, the town consolidated all of the school district um, schoolhouses into uh, one schoolhouse, uh, the Estabrook School, grades one through six. A plaque on one of the sixth grade classrooms stated that the Kaplan family had donated all of the furnishings in that classroom. It was in that classroom that Mrs. Mrs. Fowler, one of the best English teachers I had, taught me the basics of, of uh, English grammar. The meeting with Mike was encouraging right from the start. We agreed that protecting the natural resources and open space and public access were important, but we also agreed that actively managing the forest could enhance wildlife habitat and serve to educate the public in a number of ways. Mike and Steve liked what they heard from us and not only decided to make the donation to Great Works, they made a generous contribution to the stewardship fund uh, to help support the property and another one to construct this parking area and the trails here. Um, often when I drive by, I'll see four or six cars parked here and uh, so we know that it's getting a lot of good use here. So it's very gratifying to see that. And I want to thank Mike and Steve for having the faith that Great Works Regional Land Trust would be good stewards for this wonderful place. So thank you, and Mike's going to say a few words to us now. 
I, I just want to reiterate what Mike said. This has been really more than we expected to see just this group is encouraging and, and I know in the summertime it would probably be twice as many people but this is something that we felt strongly about my brother and I we, nothing against businesses we love business we owned a business but we didn't want this strip to be just another whatever would have come here and and uh, as good as that is for the employment I think this is so much in, as important for the town as a gathering spot, as Mike says, as just some place to come and commune with nature and to be actively supporting this. Who knows that what the next family or the next owners might be able to give based on what they see here. And uh, it's just more than I could have ever dreamed of to see this and to see this come to fruition with your hard work and uh, look forward to many, many runs through the trails with our family and, and uh, look forward to seeing you all. So thanks for your hard work. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my name's uh, Tim Smith. I'm a board member, and I'm one of the people that's involved in, in the stewardship. And part of stewardship is a forestry, active forestry management program, where we work on portions of our properties or portions of some properties to improve the habitat, water quality, recreational resources, and wildlife. And this is one of the properties we're going to work on. We've actually started the work on. Um, what we're trying to do here is create a number of different habitats. And if you walk the property, you go down to the river and there's a lot of older growth trees. Well, we're going to preserve those older growth trees. And on the uplands coming up here, this forest here, it's not such an older growth tree. And what we're going to do is do active management to move this along to older growth trees. And over here, right behind you, is kind of a scrub shrub habitat, which is a totally different habitat. And we're going to kind of keep working on this to keep it that way. And that's sort of what the active forestry management program is. We do it with, in a low impact way. We have a, uh, a, a tractor, a small tractor, and um, we do it with a chainsaw, and we sell the wood uh, to members through a firewood program. Um, it's kind of a different way of uh, managing property in a low impact way. And the way we do it is we go through and we look at the best trees that are on the site, and we actually mark those, but we mark those to keep them. So we kind of do, you know, normally when you do harvesting for forestry, you go through, you pick out the best trees and you harvest those. But what we're doing, since we want to grow a more mature forest, we actually pick out those trees, mark them, and then save them, and then give them some room uh, around them to grow and to spread out uh, for wildlife and for trees and just to have an older growth forest. Uh, I can talk about this a lot more, but not today. Happy to talk to you about that another time. Thanks. Hi everybody, my name is Jill Crosby, I'm the Stewardship Director and I came on two years ago and this project was well in the works of um, wanting to get it accessible to the public and we started with the trail off a of powerhouse because we thought that's where we were going to be doing our parking and, it, and that sort of didn't work out so then we started to scout around for another parking and that's how this came to be and the trail, the loop trail that's off of this. So it's really exciting to have it open up to the public and see the use. Same thing I whenever I drive by there's always usually cars here and that's just great that it's kind of um, made an impact on the community so quickly and future things that we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting up a kiosk with um, you know maps and some hopefully educational inf you know information um, so people that come to visit will see and hear and learn about the different habitats so that's to come and that's my big spiel so Thanks for being here. <laughs> so that wraps up the speaking. Um, we're going to give Berwick TV a few seconds to reorganize, and then we're going to go off in smaller groups for the walk. So approximately, you know, we have about 20, a little over 20 people here. Um, so if Michael can lead a group and Tim can lead a group and I'll re lead the third group, I mean, we kind of could just go like boom, boom, boom. So you know, try to keep it to eight to ten people, leaders, and then, and Jill, if you want to lead a group too. And um, if you're a little over, just be more spaced out. But I think we'll be fine. This is a nice number to work with. So, um, Ralph and uh, Terry, we'll just give you guys however much time you need and we'll start walking. Okay, yeah, it's cold. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's exciting. This is really exciting.